In this tutorial, we'll continue working with markers, and this time we're going to work with uh, some additional options like making our marker clickable, as well as working with video. Let's go ahead and get started by inserting a new marker. So go up to the Insert tab, and let's choose a marker with the video icon, since we want this marker to have a video in it. And I'll place it right here. You can see it builds my marker. Now in this case, I want it to be black as well. And same thing with the label. Now I don't want any animation on this marker, so I'm going to set animate to none. And I want to move the label so it's in a better position. And I'll call this one Washington Monument for the title. But I'm not going to add any text here because we will actually want to use uh, this area for our video. And to insert the video, you just come up here to Media. And you can see that you have some options, pictures or videos. I'm going to go ahead and choose Video. And you should find this Washington Monument video in your Assets folder. If you have another video, you can, of course, use that. All right, now you can see that we have a video in the marker label. But the video is a little bit small, but that's okay because we can select it and scale it to make it larger. And if you make it too big, you might need to resize the label. But uh, you have a lot of freedom here in terms of how you want to resize this. Now to get back to the label formatting, we can just double click the marker or go up to the Format tab. All right, so if you want to include a play bar for your video, you can do that as well so that your learners can scrub through the video. Just double click the video and you can bring up the video's options. And you have a few options here. We can have the video play automatically. And then what we want to do, what we want to change here is add uh, the video controls so that you can see those below the video. So under video controls, just choose below video. And these are the same options you'll have with any other video on the slide and storyline. All right, let's go ahead and preview our slide. All right, so in this example now, we have a marker with an animation and one without. When we roll over one of them, we see the text in it, and it opens automatically. And in the other one, we see that it's waiting for us to click it to open it. And when we open it, we can see the video auto plays, and there's a play bar with the video. If I click the marker again, I can close it. And that's basically it for working with markers. They're pretty straightforward. You've got your two parts to the marker. You've got your marker itself, and then you have the label. And in the label, you can add media, such as pictures or video. And it's just a matter of where you want to use the marker, where you want to place it, and then adjusting the label so that it contextually it makes sense with uh, your project. So go ahead and practice the activity and think of ways you can use markers when you're building your own courses.